My name is Ernest Shaw. Uh, I am an artist educator, originally from West Baltimore, product of Baltimore City Public Schools, Baltimore School for the Arts, Morgan State University, and Howard University. I was taught in graduate school to consider myself an image maker. Uh, the overwhelming majority of my images are portraits of either the figure or, or specific notable, mostly African or African-American leaders, artists, creators, change makers, or individuals who historically or culturally in some way have, have made an impact on my work. The poet Sonia Sanchez, I met her in my early 20s and I asked her where could I draw my inspiration? And she said, literally, walk outside your house and walk around the block and walk around your neighborhood. Become an observer. See, see more deeply here um, from a more rich perspective, smell, and use your senses in ways you have never used your senses. So from that moment on, that's when I began to develop uh, the want to do series of portraiture of um, people throughout the African diaspora. You know, I wanted, I wanted to recreate images that dispel negative stereotypes and stigmatizations to sort of kind of take control of the narrative. My mother painted, and I literally sat at my mother's feet when she used to paint. So I knew what oil paint and turpentine smelled like at like three years old. My father was a percussionist, my mother was a painter. Um, I never needed or wanted for anything relative to the arts, be it inspiration or materials. Everything was always there. I learned a lot when I eventually ended up at Morgan State University. Professor Angela Franklin, who taught African Americans in art, uh, her teachings uh, inspired me to go back and take all the art history courses I had already taken and already had credit for. History of work, history of art, world one and two, modern art, um, African art. I went back and took them all over again because her African American in art class literally taught me or, or, or literally uh, made me understand that drawing and painting, knowing how to having skill is not enough. You have to have purpose. So Morgan gave me purpose and then my experiences at Howard University helped me develop the ability to articulate, uh, to defend uh, artistic choices, choices in subject matter. Uh, taught me how to create a narrative to surround my work. So for about 20 years, from my mid-20s to my mid-40s, I studied traditional West African music and culture. And Throughout that research, I found, um, or I, I did a lot of research relative to ceremony, ritual, mass making, the use of masks, masquerade, and I took some of that information and, and it allowed me to see in society how uh, wearing of masks can be somewhat symbolic, even when it's not ceremony and ritualistic. Uh, the need for masquerade in this society is real, it's very real. 